At the beginning of time, God created light and darkness. He created the sun and the moon. He created light. And then he went on to create and create, including the creation of human beings. Then for centuries, thousands of years after creation, humans went on living their life, but so many of them in darkness. And I'm not talking about the darkness like the night. I'm talking about spiritual darkness. You see, sin crept into humans' nature. The, the very first humans who ever lived, Adam and Eve, they made this decision to sin against God. And now spiritual darkness came into the human life. God, being all righteousness and all light and all perfection, now had to separate himself from the darkness or the unrighteousness, the sin of humans. This went on for thousands of years until finally God said, I have to do something. I have to let light come back into the world. So he sent his one and only son, Jesus Christ, to be the light of the world. At the beginning of John, it says, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. You see, Jesus Christ was with God when he created light, but then it goes on to say, he is the beginning. All things are made through him and with out him not anything was made that was made and in him is life and that life is the light of men you see god said let there be light again and he gave us light light hope forgiveness mercy all of that broke into the darkness of humankind so that we can have a relationship with god again I want to invite you for the next couple weeks to come and join us at grace chapel as we study what it means for jesus christ to be the light of the world we're gonna understand why hope and mercy, forgiveness and purpose has been given to us by Jesus Christ coming into this earth when God said again, let there be light.